This video is going to show you how to geocode. Uh, geocoding is the process of taking addresses and creating data out of them so that you can use it in GIS. Uh, right now we have an Excel spreadsheet that has uh, the township offices of Lebanon County municipalities uh, in here. And we want to get this on our map of Lebanon uh, County that we see uh, right here. So what we have to do is we have to add this Excel spreadsheet to ArcGIS and then geocode these addresses. So to do that I'm going to close my um, Excel spreadsheet and then I'm going to click the Add Data button and I'm going to navigate to where I have that Excel uh, saved which is uh, right here. And it's in Sheet 1 so I'm going to click Add. Notice now when we add this to ArcMap that uh, it switched from this view of seeing the data like this to this view to list by source. The reason it did that is because we just added it a table to the table of contents and in order to see it, it has to be uh, on the list by source option so it will automatically switch uh, for us. Um, when it's on that, you also see the file path of where your data is located. So that's very helpful. So if we want to geocode these addresses, what we have to do is first right click on the uh, spreadsheet and go to geocode addresses. And the geocode address dialog box sometimes takes a minute to come up, so don't panic if, if it doesn't look like it's doing something, because it is. Um, we're going to use the World Geocode Service. And then this is one of the services that uh, requires you to have an ArcGIS Online for Organizations account. Um, it will um, that having that account will allow you to geocode. Geocoding costs credits, so um, in your organizational account you will have a certain number of credits that you can use to uh, buy services of, from ArcGIS Online for Organizations. So that's uh, why we have to sign in uh, to this. You can get a trial account uh, of this just by going to the Esri website. So I'm going to sign in and now that I'm signed in, the next dialog box will pop up that will allow me to select uh, what fields uh, are going to be used uh, to geocode. So it's asking us what a table that we're geocoding, which is sheet one, and then it's asking the name for the names of the fields that have the, the information in that we need. So the address is, is street, that the city, the, the field was the same, and so on. So you. Um, ArcGIS usually makes its best guess. Sometimes it gets it right, sometimes it doesn't. So you have to kind of watch that. It's going to put it under this uh, file path as uh, a default. Um, I'm going to click the folder to put it where I want to uh, store this. And I'm going to put that in that GIS uh, data folder that I created just for uh, uh, this data. Um, and I'm going to rename this Township Offices. Do not keep it called geocoding result because if you geocode say 10 spreadsheets and they're all called geocoding result 1, geocoding result 2, you're not going to have any idea what it is that you're looking at and it's just going to be very painful to have to add all of them to figure out which, which one it is that, that you need. So renaming your data is a very uh, important step. Um, hit save and then hit OK. It will begin geocoding and it will tell you how many were matched, how many were tied, and how many were unmatched. What that means is this is uh, matched means that it was able to find an address that matched that um, particular address that was in our table. Tied means that it found um, two or more locations that could potentially be that address. And you have to then go in and select which one is the correct one. And then unmatched just means I wasn't able to geocode it for whatever reason. Maybe there wasn't enough information in the address. Maybe uh, the address was in entered incorrectly so it doesn't even exist. So there's lots of different reasons why it could be unmatched. But uh, luckily we, we were able to um, match all 25. So I would just hit close 
and then the data comes on the map. So that's a really easy process for uh, geocoding. Now just a little bit of, of advice uh, with uh, geocoding to um, make sure that um, it, it's as, it goes as well as possible. Um, if you remember that uh, spreadsheet that I had uh, open, uh, having your spreadsheet formatted properly for geocoding is really what makes it successful. So the, the uh, work that you do on the, the front end is really uh, quite an important with like the data entry uh, part of this. So when we look at this spreadsheet, we have uh, a field called ID, um, and that's just uh, giving it a number, and that's just something standard to do. Um, then you put the name of the township in there, so that's um, by itself. You make sure that you don't put the, all the address in one uh, field because um, it won't be able to parse that out properly. So the street has to be in one field, the city in another, state in another, and zip in another. If you don't necessarily have to have all of this information to geocode, let's say, for instance, all you had for Jackson Township was that it's in Myers Town, PA, and with the zip. As long as you have a, a, a zip, uh, you can geocode it. It's just going to put it in the center of the zip code. But having the address makes it more precise. So uh, some of these things will geocode if, if some of the information is not there. It just not, not may not be as precise as you might like it. Um, so. Uh, tip one uh, is again to make sure that you separate all of these things out. Tip two is don't get fancy with your Excel spreadsheets. Um, notice how there's no fancy formatting, no underlining, no borders, no shading, no nothing. The other thing that you don't want that is a common thing for people to do you just uh, hit okay there is a lot of times uh, you'll have a um, a row in between your uh, headers and your data. Don't do that. Or it, it confuses ArcMap and what happens is that everything shifts around um, and uh, the, the geocode tends not to work. So uh, best piece of advice, just keep it simple uh, because that's the way that ArcMap really likes uh, the data. So uh, just a, a few pointers on uh, geocoding. Um, again, you can geocode anything that has a, an address and you can geocode um, a, as many uh, addresses as you want at a time. Um, the th caution with geocoding is again that it is something that does take credits from your ArcGIS Online for Organizations account and that's something that you have to populate like a hundred dollars will get you so many credits so if you're going to be geocoding say 20,000 addresses that's going to eat that up really quickly so you first want to be cognizant of how many you're doing and you secondly want to be sure that you format that spreadsheet right so that you don't have to redo it so that you're not wasting all of those credits so it's just something to be very mindful of uh, when doing uh, this particular process.